Hello, welcome to LEV Toys Halloween Edition. We are heading back to the Rainbow Apartments because we just built. Well, you probably saw it. So we went past. We just built an orange apartment here to add, and the orange apartment is Halloween themed as well. But hold on, this isn't. Oh, this is the yellow apartment. Oh, Buttercup's lost her puppy. Oh, this is where the strangeness begins because Buttercup is going to come up. She's going to knock on Ginger's door, and the Ginger, Ginger, have you seen? Oh, actually, she doesn't know her name, does she? So. Girl who lives in the orange apartment, have you seen my puppy? But this is really, really wobbly. So we obviously can't do any playing of it because everything's going to like wobble and fall down. So let's just put the orange apartment down here nice and safely and then we can begin. So, girl in the orange apartment, you neighbor, have you seen my puppy? Actually, she probably should actually knock on the door before she calls out. Okay, she doesn't seem to be getting any response at all. Ginger is still trying to summon, I don't know what she's trying to do, get through to the underworld. She's doing something over there at the portal, which isn't opening. No puppies to be seen here though, but there is an orange tiger. Okay, all right, so everything we do here today is going to be orange themed. We're going to, I don't know what the tiger's doing. The tiger is sniffing the pumpkins. <laughs> as you do and oh oh obviously because he's a big cat he wants to bat up those balloons and now he's heading off again okay so that's not a puppy so that's no help to poor old buttercup down in the bottom apartment oh okay so why do we have the white ghost dog well because it's halloween and i couldn't not put in the white ghost dog so the ghost dog's just going to become part of the scenery here which is going to be confusing because it's supposed to be all orange but eh <laughs> I've been breaking the rules everywhere and the white ghost dog is so cute so he's gonna hang out in here with the pumpkins or up here or or on top of the leaves yeah okay oh here's the puppy here oh oh okay well where's buttercup buttercup your puppy's here here she is okay all right so so buttercup's found a puppy so that's basically the end of the story and that's the end of the video is it oh or is it? So many strange random things happen on Halloween, including having giant fire lions jumping over your apartment and landing on tiptoe. Okay, all right, so we've seen the fire lion. <laughs> okay, we're going to dress up some of the Disney princesses. They're going to try and distract Ginger from opening the portal. So Belle is first. Belle we need to make, well, we're going to give her an orange rose instead of her red rose. And we can't do much about her outfit, otherwise we won't know it's Belle, right? So we're just going to change her hair over to some orange hair. So this is now Orange Belle. Say hello, Orange Belle. And Orange Belle has got a pumpkin, well, trick or treat. <laughs> she's not going to miss an opportunity to go trick or treating. So she's got her trick or treating basket and she's heading off to Ginger's place. Ginger's busy examining the scroll, seeing where she's gone wrong with this portal opening. Oh, hold on. We appear to have got her attention. Oh, no, we just knocked her over a little bit. All right. So Orange Belle, I, I don't think she's listening. I, I don't know that Orange Belle did anything but peer through the little cracks in the door, but... Right, so Orange Bell was no use at all. Let's try Mia. Mia has got a pizza to deliver on an orange motorbike. See, and Mia's already wearing, kind of, well, she's got orange on her clothes. There are so few clothes with orange. It's really hard. And she's going to need an orange helmet because we're doing orange. And she needs a helmet because she's going on this motorbike, which she doesn't fit on. How do the mini dolls not fit on the motorbike that's just unfair but she's gonna ride very strangely on the back which is good because she didn't have very far to go and you go ding dong pizza delivery and ginger is oh she has magic that pizza into a demon pizza wow she really does not like being interrupted okay and mia is out of here and the pizza is following mia okay watch out mia there's pizza behind you behind you it's now time for mulan right so mulan is oh what are we gonna do here we've got an orange hairpiece for mulan for mulan i can't even say mulan mulan has got this hairpiece which works with the rest of her outfit because it is an asian influenced kind of hairstyle i would love to make her a ghost but the ghost is white and i've already cheated with the dog and we're not going to do that with the costumes so let's make her a ghost with all these chains like we'll just pretend <laughs> that she's a ghost in chains though i don't think it quite works like this but if we wrap her all up in the chains <laughs> we can pretend she's rattling them and she's the orange ghost of halloween's past <laughs> I don't think she'll convince anybody. Let's attach the other one and we'll put that one down here. 
<laughs> that was fun. All right, so, okay, Mulan is a ghost, so let's put her onto, she's an orange ghost, let's put her onto a wibbly wobbly ghosty stick so that she can fly around in the air. And off she goes to see if she can distract Ginger. Ooh, it is the orange ghost. What are you doing? Are you insane? Ooh, hey, little ghost dog. All right, so Ginger once again has no interest in what's going on outside her door. One last start, one last try. Woo! Well, off you. All right. Thanks, Mulan. Ghost Mulan. <laughs> okay. Right. So next up. This is just going from absurd to ridiculous. Andrea! 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 Okay, Andrea is going to see if she can coax her out of her apartment by giving her a free ticket to her new concert. So, we do have some orange outfits for Andrea, which is good. So, she's going to have some funky, a funky skirt there, which matches her top very nicely. And now we just need to give her some orange hair. So, let me see. Oh, yes, I do. We've got this hair piece. It's going to be like a slick do. It's obviously going to be a wig. So, she's got a wig on for her performance. All right, except it's not on quite straight, and I cannot stand that. Let's get it on straight. There we are. Okay, ticket. Let's uh, let's go and see if we can coax Ginger out of her apartment. See if we can distract her, and then I don't know what we would do, but distract her from opening this portal this Halloween. Right? Hello, hello, Ginger. I've got a free ticket for my. Here, look. See, I'm sticking it through the door. I've got a free ticket for my concert. How, why are you not listening to me? Nope. Nope. Gah. Oh dear me, Andre, I just don't think, maybe she doesn't like music. Maybe she's just not a music lover. So that didn't work. Who we got next? <laughs> of course, of course we need the Frozen Girls. So we have got Elsa and we have got Anna and they survive. <laughs> I got such a plan for these guys. All right, prepare yourselves. <laughs> this is ridiculous. The puffer fish helmet thing. <laughs> going to be they're going to be fishy themed and because we don't have any more orange outfits we're just going to put on this life vest which is ridiculous because she's supposed to be a fish so she should be able to swim and we're going to put some flippers on her too so ta-da that's enough orange right and we'll give her a couple of fish to try and slap ginger around with she's wielding fish she's the fish wielder the fish wielder of halloween <laughs> that looks ridiculous. Okay, but Elsie, you should not be giggling smugly because your turn is coming now. You also get a life vest, so matchy-matchy with your sister. But you get a crustacean, like a lobster headpiece, which coincidentally is also orange. This works out so well, and I'm all, out of, I'm all out of flippers. But I do have a crab. So she is now crustacean themed. <laughs> and Anna is fishy themed and I don't know quite what they're going to do with this. They're just going to come trick-or-treating so they can flippity flappity over here to Ginger's door and let's see if they can distract her from... Oh, no, hold on. They they can't even stand up straight. They're not... Oh, no! Elsa's lost her crab! <laughs> Everybody's falling over. They can't even stand up. Oh, no! All right, this is slapstick ridiculous. Uh, oh, okay, so, all right, Anna is off. She's <laughs> fed up and enough. But what about... What about Elsa's crab? Just leave it. Just leave the crab. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, so none of these people are being any use whatsoever, and there's a crab now in the garden. Cinderella! Okay, Cindy, what can you offer us? Uh, oh, okay. So, a hazmat helmet. How's this going to work exactly? Not overly convincing without the full suit, but uh, we'll take what we can get. Excuse me, miss. Ma'am, you have to evacuate your apartment. I have heard that somebody's trying to summon a demon from the underworld and it's not safe to remain here. Ma'am? Ma'am, can you please step out of your apartment, ma'am? Ma'am? No, she's just ignoring her. Just ignoring her. She has no interest in her well-being. Oh, I'm so sorry, Cinderella. Oh, but it seems that Cinderella has made a crab friend, so should we warn her? No, that's not Ella. All right, so Merida also seems to have a plan. Merida has got... <gasps> dun, dun, dun! She's got firepower! <laughs> I'm glad we've got all these orange options. So fire power, and she can also have this fire element in her other hand. Don't know quite how she's going to utilize this power. And she's going to need a change of hairstyle. And luckily we have got the perfect flamey hair for our new flamey character. And, okay, so flame girl. How are you, how's this going to work exactly? <gasps> you can create flame? I should have guessed that really with the flame power. <laughs> All right, so not quite sure you're gonna 
What, burn her apartment down? What's, what are you gonna do? Oh, she's putting fires everywhere. There are fires in the garden. She's making fires. Yep, oh, all right. Ginger, there's fires in the garden. Ginger doesn't care. She's left fire everywhere. Oh, I think the body corporate's gonna have something to say about this. All right, so Snow White. It's Snow White's turn. What is your plan? You have a beehive. Okay. So, <laughs> is anyone else feeling not so optimistic about this? And you've got some wings. So, beehive and some wings. What are you going to do with the beehive? Okay. Right, so she's put a beehive over her head. I don't know that Snow White is the smartest Disney princess. And she's putting some... So, she's like a bee, except she's got the beehive on her head. And she's got flowers. Well, hold on, yeah. So, she's got flowers and plants on her hands. I don't even know what to title this. This is just absurd. <laughs> right, so okay. Good luck, Snow White. It's a good try, just don't don't run into the flame. Don't fly into the flame. And she's just kind of staring at Ginger through the door and now she's flying away. Wow, you see some really odd things on Halloween. Oh! Cinderella has just noticed that everything's on fire. Now you all need to evacuate. Fire, fire! Go and set off an alarm. Well, nobody has managed to distract Ginger from her task at hand, and it looks like she has just opened the portal to the underworld. So she's going in. Bye, everybody. I'll see you when I come back. Oh, she slipped. Oh, no, no, she's okay. All right, so she's off. She's off to see what sort of cafes this place has, because if you can't get a good coffee down here, then she'll be straight back. I can guarantee that. <laughs> Now, make sure you check out some of my other Halloween videos before you go and woo, have a wonderful Halloween and a wonderful week. And I'll see you with another video very, very soon. <laughs> Bye.